In question number two here, we are given the area, but ultimately we need to find the circumference. We don't have a formula that directly connects those two, but we do have a formula for area. And since that's what we're given, let's use that. Area of a circle is pi r squared. And so I'm going to take this 17.64 pi, and we're going to substitute that in for a. In this case, it's square meters. So 17.64 pi, this is just giving it to you in terms of pi, with a pi already there. And that equals pi r squared. And so actually, that's going to be one of the first things I do. If I want to get r by itself so I can first find the radius, I'm going to divide both sides by pi. And that will actually just cancel out pi from both sides. And so now I'll just have 17.64 equals r squared. So I'll take the square root of each side, and I really only want the positive square root since we're dealing with length here. So I'll just go ahead and type that in, square root of 17.64, and it comes out to 4.2 exactly. And so my radius is 4.2. And unfortunately on the quiz, this is what a lot of people circled as their final answer, that radius is 4.2 meters. But you have to read the directions, and the directions say find the circumference. So from here you want to remember that circumference equals 2 pi r and so we're going to put that 4.2 in for r. And so if you answered 4.2 on a test that would be given half credit but you didn't answer the full question so we can't give you full credit. Uh, from here I'll go ahead and just type that in 2 times pi times 4.2 We'll get an approximate answer. Um, I got 26.389 and some other digits. I usually round to one decimal place, so I would round this to 26.4. And what units are we using? Meters. So 26.4 meters would be the official answer here.